Hey guys, this is Allie with iMore and Pixel Fix, and today we're going to look at how to change the dot connector assembly out in an iPhone 3G or 3GS. The process is pretty much the same for both, uh, with a couple exceptions which we'll go through throughout the video. Um, the main reason you'd want to do this repair is, for one, if your phone's not charging and you think the dot connector's broke. Uh, also, if you're having reception issues on the network or your Wi-Fi is not working. This should fix all three of those issues. So if any one of those sounds like you, this is what you want. Uh, for this repair, you're going to need a SIM removal tool or paper clip, whichever, uh, a suction cup to pull up the screen, a double zero Phillips screwdriver, and a spudger or a pry tool. Uh, you can use plastic pry tools. They'll work just as well. I prefer these. Uh, so first what we're going to want to do is power off our device. You never want to do anything without turning off the device first. Uh, first we're going to take out these two bottom dot connector screws with our double zero Phillips screwdriver. And as a side note we have uh, I've got links in the article to a parts supplier that we recommend using. Uh, of course you can replace these parts separately. You can buy just the 3G antenna. I recommend buying the whole assembly. It'll run you about 15 bucks for an iPhone 3G and about $16 for a 3GS. It's much easier to replace. It's going to save you a lot of time and room for error. So after you remove those, we have to remove the screen. Uh, you put the suction cup right above your home button. And then what you're going to want to do, since you have cables up here, you want to be very careful not to tear those. So you only pull up on the bottom of the screen. So what I'm going to do is hold my hand up here and then gently pull upwards. And the bottom will pop out like so. You just want to be careful not to rip it straight off as you'll rip these cables. And once you do that, you can remove the suction cup. Then we're going to open up the phone, and you're going to see that there's three cables up here. And we've looked at this for a screen replacement and for a battery replacement already. So if you're not familiar with this, you can check out those as well. Uh, what we're going to do first is pop up this number two cable. Then we're going to pop up, this is normally labeled number one. Uh, we're going to pop that one up. And underneath here, you've got one more cable, which is labeled number three. This one's a little trickier. It's got a clip, so you're going to need to pop up this clip first. Just use the end of your pry tool. Pop it up, and then this cable will back right out. And then you can set aside your digitizer assembly. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you've got a couple cables you're going to need to unattach from the logic board. Uh, four, five, six, and seven. 3G users are not going to see this seven cable. It's just not going to be there. So 3GS users are the only ones that are going to see this. So we'll start up here. We'll pop up six, five, four down here, and seven down here. And if you bend this cable back a little bit, you're going to see that there's a screw you're going to need to remove. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is remove our SIM card. You can do this first if you like. This is the point where I remember to do it. You just need to remember to do this before you take out your logic board. So remove our SIM card. Now there's eight screws that are holding the logic board in place, and you're going to have to remove those. And I'll also throw up a picture showing these screws in more detail. You've got one. This actually has a do not remove sticker on it. You'll have to remove that. Uh, I've already removed it. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to remove those eight screws. Um, just as a side note, you've got a little clip over here underneath the screw for the that holds the camera assembly down. So when you remove that screw, you'll see that this little plastic bracket comes with it. And just set that aside and make sure you put it back in there when you reassemble. And we're going to pause to remove the rest of the seven screws. 
Okay, so we've removed all eight screws that hold the logic board down. Uh, as a side note, make sure you keep those in an order. You're going to remember how they go in. Some of them are different sizes, so it's not fun to have to guess how those go in. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to need to pop up the camera assembly before you remove the logic board. Uh, it pops up to the left, so all I'm going to do is insert my spudger tool and push it up like that. Now what we're going to do to remove the logic board is there is a gap right here in between the logic board and your actual dot connector assembly. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick our spudger tool in here and gently pry up on the edge of the logic board. And what I typically do is I'll get my finger underneath here to where I can grab just the tip. I always recommend holding these by the shields. Try not to touch circuitry if you don't have to. And then wiggle it back and forth and it should pop right out. And then you set the logic board aside and now we have access to our dot connector which is right here. Uh, we're going to be replacing the whole assembly. So there are three screws holding this assembly down uh, for 3GS users. For 3G users I'm pretty sure you're only going to see two screws which are going to be one and two. 3GS users have this third screw right here. So I'm pretty sure 3G users aren't going to see this screw. So what we're going to do is remove these three screws and again uh, try to keep them in the correct order so then you know um, where they go. And as a side note, this third screw uh, sometimes likes to get caught on the inside. This one didn't, but sometimes it doesn't want to come out, so you might have to use a magnetized screwdriver to pull that one out. Uh, okay, there's no adhesive or anything holding this piece, this dot connector assembly, down. So all you're going to do to remove this is take your fingers right here and just gently lift up, and it's going to pop right out. Uh, notice right here you've got your speaker gasket and when you put your new one in you'll want to make sure that's lined up correctly in the hole. Uh, you've got little brackets and you've got brackets inside the phone. Uh, the brackets in the dot connector assembly sit on top of the brackets. If you push the brackets underneath instead of on top it's going to push up your uh, chrome band, your chrome bezel right here and you're going to notice a gap when you reassemble. So make sure you put uh, the two brackets on top. So this dot connector is not bad, so I'm just going to put it right back in. Uh, to put it in, all you do is line up the bottom. I typically try to line up the speaker gasket inside the hole and then push in gently and then down. And as long as you have those uh, brackets above where you screw it in, it's going to fall right into place like that. So then all you're going to do is replace these screws again. Um, as a side note, 3G users don't have uh, this 7 cable, but uh, 3GS users do. When you uh, receive the new dot connector, typically this cable will come flat and you'll just have to create a fold in it to fold over right here. So there's, there's a bend in it and you'll have to create that bend when you get it. And some of them will also have adhesive that you can stick on there that's already on there. So we're just replacing the screws to secure the new dot connector. And now we are ready to replace our logic board. Uh, the easiest way I found to do this is this cable typically likes to get in the way. So uh, gently, gently fold it to where it sticks under the chrome and then it won't get in your way when you're putting your logic board back in. Also make sure these cables don't get stuck underneath the logic board. Uh, this cable you can just fold right up and it shouldn't get in the way too much. So to replace the logic board, uh, you want to start with the top by the SIM tray and 
You're going to want to push down with a little bit of pressure because it's actually got a slide underneath there. And a good way to know you're going in the right direction is uh, if your screw holes start to line up. So once that's in there, I can um, set the logic board in place. And the easiest way to know if you've got the logic board in correctly is put in your SIM tray. If it slides in easily, it's positioned correctly. Don't force it. If it's not going in, uh, the logic board is not positioned correctly, uh, so back it out and try again. So after you do that, snap back down your camera assembly, just right here. You'll hear it click in. And then we're going to replace the eight screws that attach to the logic board. Just don't forget in the corner up here to replace the tiny bracket that goes under the screw that holds in the camera assembly. And we'll pause to reassemble the eight screws that go into the logic board. Okay, so we've replaced the eight screws that hold down the logic board. And now what we're going to want to do is reconnect the cables to the logic board. So you've got your 4 and 7 cable down here, 7 just for 3GS users, and then your 6 and 5 cables up here. doesn't matter what order you push these down with, uh, just make sure all 4 are in 3G's case, uh, 3 are secured. And come over here, push down our dot connector cable, and most of these you'll hear snap in. Uh, the 7 cable can be a little weird because it's round and it's tiny. Um, you just have to make sure you line it up correctly. Alright, so after we've done this, we can uh, reassemble our digitizer. Uh, you've got the 3, 2, and 1 cables on here. Uh, I typically use a pry tool to hold down the number three cable so I can insert it in here. Uh, you can see on this cable that it's got light yellow and dark yellow. The light yellow part needs to be completely in that slot. So I use a end of a spudger tool to kind of guide it in there. And if you've never done this before it might take you a couple tries to get it in there. Uh, as you do this more and more you get the hang of it a lot quicker and then just kind of wiggle it back and forth to where it's in there. Push down that clasp. And then we're going to move to our number two cable. And then uh, yours will probably be labeled number one. I replaced the LCD in this phone so there's no label on the cable. But yours should be labeled number one if it's never been replaced. And then once you've got all those down, uh, make sure you insert the front first because there are little grooves on the top of the frame. So insert the top and then the bottom should snap right in place. And then we'll just replace our two dot connector screws. And that is how to replace a dot connector assembly on an iPhone 3G or iPhone 3GS.